My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you all are doing well. There's a noisy hawk up here. He's up in the woods watching me film this. Anyways, what I have here today is a Japanese folding chair. A chair that has some very unique features to it. Features that I've never seen before. First off, the seating material, it's made from cotton. And second, this chair is impressively adjustable. It can be tilted forwards, backwards, and it can be raised and lowered. Over the last couple of months, I've been taking a look at quite a few DOD outdoor products. And that's because their products are really interesting. They're very unique. They have some interesting functions and features that you don't see with other brands. In other words, you're seeing functionality that's very uncommon with most outdoor products. With this chair here from DOD Outdoors, this is the Segoy folding chair. It's fully adjustable. And hopefully I said that right, Segoy. I might have I might have messed that up, and if I did, I apologize. If you purchase this chair, this is what you're going to receive. You get the cotton canvas bag. It has a carry handle up at the top. It secures with Velcro, just like this. You get the seat, you get the frame, and you receive some instructions. Speaking of the instructions, they are in Japanese. At the time being, there are no English instructions included with the chair, but you can find them online. Luckily, putting together the chair, is very easy. So you really don't need the instructions. To start off, let's take a look here at the frame. As you can see, it comes in a square form. You have the legs on one side, and they pop into place like you would expect. On the other sides, you have the frame for the seat. For the frame, you have Velcro keepers to hold everything into place. And as you can see there in seconds, you can have the frame set up. It's a very fast deployment. Once you have the frame set up, then you can move over to the seat. And this sets up exactly how you would expect. The frame goes into the back of the seat. You have these reinforced sleeves that go over the frame poles, just like this. Repeat the same process down at the bottom. And just like that, the chair has been set up. With the chair being set up, the first thing that you will notice is the size of this. This is a very good sized chair. This is much closer to like the size of a large Coleman chair than a foldable backpacking camping chair. The next thing that grabs your attention is the material itself. This is not made from a synthetic material like most camping chairs. This is made from a cotton canvas, which feels exceptionally high quality. When you're sitting down in this, it feels good. It feels really nice. There are some benefits to having the cotton canvas. In the summertime, it will help keep you cooler because it's so breathable. In the wintertime, it acts as an insulator and will actually keep you slightly warmer. Let's take a second here and let's talk about features for this chair. So when you're sitting in the chair on the left-hand side, you do not have any form of pockets. But on the right side, you have two sleeved pockets here, large enough for drinks and whatnot. This is attached to the seat itself and cannot be taken off. If you go to the back side of the chair, you have a pocket here, a fairly deep sized sleeve. And you can use this pocket for just about anything you want to, including putting your jacket in here. I've mentioned before that the legs for this chair are adjustable. In fact, each leg is adjustable in three positions, lower, mid, and high. There's also a fourth level of adjustment. You can take the legs, you can pop them out, put them in their placement holders, and you could sit the chair down on this base. That gets you very close to the ground. Let's stop there folks and let's go over some stats real quick before continuing on. When it comes to the stored dimensions, you're looking at 16 inches tall, 14 inches wide, and it's roughly two inches deep. When it comes to the setup measurements of this chair, because it's so adjustable and there's so many different ways that you can raise this and lower this, I will go over the dimensions on screen for you all now. The weight limit of this chair is 220 pounds. The chair features an aluminum frame with nylon plastic hardware and 600 denier polyester reinforcements. The weight of this chair is five pounds and that includes the carry case. It is available in three colors, tan, olive green, and black. And at the time of filming, the price of this chair is $100. When it comes to making adjustments with these legs, it could not be any easier. You have this push tab here that locks the legs into place. You push it in, make your adjustment, 
you could see this white line right here. This is really smart. That line is there so that you always know where the locking post is. That way it's very easy to get the locking post into the holes so that you can make your adjustments. I've never seen that before on an adjustable chair. It's a really smart feature. With the chair, I have it set on the highest level of adjustment. And as you can see, this is up rather high. But let's say that you wanna change things up and you wanna relax a little bit. You wanna lounge. You can go ahead and you can lower the back legs. Now you can kick back, you can stare at the stars, and this chair is completely stable. But let's say that you want to lean forward and do some work at your table. You could do that too. Raise the back legs and lower the front. And just like that, you're now leaning forward. So you can work at your table and do so comfortably. Now that we've gone over this chair, we've gone over the features, the price, the weight, how adjustable it is, and so on. Let's go over my pros and cons, starting with the pros. So first off, the quality of this chair is incredible. For the price, it should be, and it is. There's no loose threads. The sewing is excellent. Everything about this chair looks and feels premium. When it comes to this cotton canvas, it is spark resistant. So you can sit next to a fire and you don't have to worry about a spark burning a hole in it or anything like that. What good is a chair if it's not comfortable? Luckily, this chair is very comfortable and the adjustability assists with that. First off, the sitting platform itself is large. You can sit nice and deep if you want to. At the same time, you can adjust the legs. You can lean back, stare at the stars, lean it forward, work at a table. There's plenty of ways that you can use this chair because it's so adjustable. It really will adapt to just about anything. An interesting feature with this is that you can completely remove the legs, lock them up, and you could sit just a few inches off the ground right next to a fire. You wouldn't wanna sit in that position at a table, but sitting next to a fire, it's very comfortable. I've already spoken a little bit about this, but this seating area is rather large. So for larger individuals, this is going to be very comfortable. When it comes to a lot of camp chairs out on the market, many chairs that are way more expensive than this, they're quite small. This one here is the opposite, it's quite big. You can break this down in seconds and you can set this up in seconds. Another pro for this chair is the weight. While it weighs five pounds, that's not bad considering the size. There are plenty of chairs out on the market today that are roughly the same size that weigh quite a bit more than this. So five pounds for a chair this large, this adjustable, it's not bad. It goes without saying that this is more of a car camping chair than a backpacking chair because of the weight and the size. Another pro that I have for this chair are the pockets on the right hand side. They are actually usable. Oftentimes when it comes to these camp chairs, they have integrated pockets that are so tight that you can't use them. That's not the case here. You do in fact have two usable pockets with this chair, plus the sleeve on the back side. Next off everyone, the storage bag is excellent. Plus, I like this handle here. It's comfortable to carry, and it's easy to carry. Also, it should be mentioned that it's plenty big for the chair. It's easy to put in and to take out. When it comes to the cons that I have for this chair, I only have two. First off, the setup instructions are in Japanese. Now, luckily the company should address this in a few months, or at least that's what I've read on Amazon. A representative from the company stated on there that in the future, English instructions will be included. Luckily, the chair's easy to set up, so it's not that big of a deal. The last con that I have for this chair are the pole sleeves. They are somewhat small and somewhat sticky, so it can take some work to get the frame poles inserted. It's not that big of a deal, it's not that big of an issue, but it could be simpler with some larger pole sleeves. The last point that I wish to bring up about this chair is not a pro and it's not a con, and that's price. For a chair of this size with these materials, the price is very much fair. But at the same time, there are other camping chairs out on the market that are quite a bit less expensive than this. Ultimately, it depends on what you want. If you like the looks of this, if you like the functionality of this, it might be worth the money to you. If you're looking to spend less, you certainly could do so. If you're looking to spend more, you can certainly do so. For my review of the DoD Outdoors chair, that's it. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts. What do you all think about this? What do you all think about the level of adjustability with this chair? It's pretty impressive backwards, forwards, down, up. It does just about everything for a fair price, in my opinion. I appreciate you all watching this review. Hit the thumbs up before you go. It does help the channel. Remember folks, the channel is agenda free. I don't care if you buy this. It means nothing to me. I will not benefit in any sort of way. I'm here to share my thoughts, my opinions, and that's it. I'm here to share interesting gear. That's all. Take care folks, be well, strength and honor. Bye for now.